Perfect. Hello, today I will show you how to prepare a beautiful Boston cream pie. So for our Boston cream pie we will start to prepare a Genoise or a French sponge cake. So we will just use eggs and no baking soda. So first you have to separate the egg yolk from the white. So now I'm adding a sugar. And then we will wipe the whites. So here you see consistency is perfect. We have these peaks. Perfect. Wow. So now I'm adding uh, sugar and the egg yolks. Same amount. Now I'm adding the cornstarch. And then the flour. So here the recipe is almost finished. We have here our egg yolks, egg whites, cornstarch and flour. And we just have to combine everything together gently. So as explained, we will not use any uh, baking soda. So the, the, the sponge cake is uh, made just with eggs and cornstarch and flour. So it will be very fluffy. But now it's important to not destroy everything by uh, wiping everything fast. So it's important to use a spatula and to integrate all the ingredients carefully. It's like making a tiramisu. So preparation is ready, the genoise is ready, it's full with air, you see. So the last step is to prepare the mold, so we we'll just first grease the mold with margarine or butter. So it's important to use enough uh, butter to have a nice uh, surface and to be able to unmold the, the cake without any damage or big damage. 
and then we will add now a little amount of uh, flour in order to make a coating So, coating is done, we can now uh, put the preparation in the, the mold, in the pan or in the... Now we just have to bake the cake for about 30 minutes. Temperature 180 degrees Celsius means 360 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So for our Boston cream pie, we will need Boston cream and Boston cream is nothing else than uh, pastry cream or crème pâtissière. So today in this video, I will show you a fast and furious, quick and dirty method to make uh, pastry cream or Boston cream. So first we need uh, four egg yolks. Now I'm adding cold milk. Then vanilla. And then a pinch of salt. So here all is cold. Now we have a medium heat and we will just whisk all the ingredients to go together. So you see, now we have a good consistency. Now I'm adding my cold butter. So you see the bottom is clean, we have a good consistency. It's still a little liquid because it's hot and then we will place it in the fridge. So our sponge cake or genoise is ready, it's cold now and now we just have to cut it in two pieces. And then uh, you make a syrup. So this syrup is very easy. This is hot water, sugar, and a little rum. So the rum is optional. You are not forced to use any alcohol. But in this syrup, I use water, sugar, and a little rum. And this will give a nice taste to our cake. And also the, 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 kelp, the, cake. the cake will be not dry. So it will give a nice taste and also a nice consistency a nice humidity in the, in the cake. Now 
Then you take your Boston cream. So, then here I'm not using all the pastry cream or the Boston cream, I will use it later, you will see. Then here again, before covering, you have to use um, our syrup. And then we just have to cover. And then I will just make a place around um, more cream in order to have a nice visual, visual and also in order to stabilize our uh, cake. Maybe one more uh, important information by making the dessert if you get some problem with uh, pastry cream or Boston cream, if the consistency is very bad, if it's like a glue, if the consistency is too high, the viscosity is too high, then you can simply use this tool, this uh, mixer and just mix the, the pastry during two minutes and then you will get again a nice consistency. So once again, if it's too liquid, it's dead, you will lose. And then if the consistency is too high, then you will also lose. So if it's too liquid, you can cook two or three minutes more the, the cream, or maybe add a little, little amount of cornstarch. And then if the consistency is very too high, too high, then you can add a little amount of milk and you can also use this uh, this mixer to get the uh, requested uh, consistency. And therefore I place around pastry cream. So, so this pastry cream is a decoration but also a glue for our uh, almonds. It's important also to have always uh, our glue, our pastry cream or on the top, on the, on the, on the side. You see? Okay. Perfect! So now I will show you how to make an express chocolate glaze with Miro effect. So first you start with heavy cream. Then dark chocolate. And then honey. And then you have to cook it in medium heat and to whisk the time. To always check the bottom of the pan, you need a clean bottom. Now you see it's boiling and then you can switch off the fire. And now you can add your cold butter, because the pan here is not on the fire. You will just melt the cold butter and the chocolate. Uh, 
Es ist ready. So now it's the last step of the recipe. We will just make the chocolate glaze or put the glaze in the, the cake so the glaze is still a little hot. And then the most easiest way is to do to use a, um, a brush and to start with the brush. With a small quantity. This is for me the easiest way for non-professional. <laughs> for and with this technique you will be able to work very carefully and to not put chocolate everywhere because it's not easy to, to work with hot chocolate or with liquid chocolate. So now we just have to place it in the fridge and wait about five hours. Perfect.